Hi, I'm Kathy Sagal, Director of Religious Education at First U. It's good to be together. Today I have a story, The Feeling Flame, by Oifi Barrington Haber, rewritten by me. Imagine a cloudy, chilly day in the backyard of a cottage where a woman named Eloise lived. Picture a stone fire pit with a cozy bench, safe from the fire, but close enough to feel warmth. Eloise loved to sit there, relax and daydream. One day, she felt happy and healthy, so she lit the fire with happiness. She leaned back, closed her eyes, and imagined some people she missed. First, Evan, wearing a mask and keeping physical distance. He carried some fuel for the fire. On it was written, loneliness. She asked why he looked so sad and he said, my children live far away and I miss them. I'm very lonely. In her dream, Eloise said, come and add your loneliness to my flame. Do you know what happened? It grew. Even as Evan stayed 10 feet back, he felt the warmth of friendship. Then a friend named Posey approached. She too was wearing a beautiful cloth mask and carrying some fuel for the fire called concern. I'm concerned about my sick sister and about the earth. I'm worried about the sadness and death I learned from the news all over the world and in my own town. Eloise said, those concerns seem heavy. You shouldn't carry them alone. Bring them here. She imagined Posey adding her concerns to the flame. And do you know what happened? The flame grew larger. And even as the darkness came, life seemed more hopeful. In her dream, the firelight was calling more people out of the dark and soon a person in a polka dot mask with teary eyes came carrying sticks of sorrow. I'm sad because my grandmother has died. Please join us in a big circle, keeping wide physical distance and add your sorrow to the fire. He placed his sorrow into the fire. and it grew warmer and brighter. He felt comforted. Out of the darkness came a teenager carrying a bundle of sticks called confusion. I don't know what to do. Life's so confusing, nothing is fair. I just want to be with friends who listen and don't make fun of me. Come join us, said Aunt Louise. There is space for you here. So the teenager added confusion to the fire and the world seemed brighter and clearer. Next, Eloise imagined a couple approaching with a baby, their faces filled with joy. This is our daughter and we have just adopted her. We are so full of joy and love. We want to share it. Is there a place for us around your fire? Of course, come share your joy with us. So they added their joy to the fire. And it grew very bright indeed. By now, the dreamy distant circle was huge and the family felt safe and welcomed and loved. Last, Eloise heard the sound of laughter, singing, and silliness. A child was there with a stick that said, wonder. Life is amazing, the child said, full of mystery. I want to celebrate, ask questions, sing, play, and dance. Come join us, said Eloise. We need your wonder. So the child added wonder to the fire, and it grew the brightest of all.
finally, Eloise opened her eyes, realizing she had been daydreaming. She gazed at the beautiful light and understood that though the people she missed weren't really there with her, she hadn't just built a fire. She had imagined a community feeling flame, full of life. The end. Now please join in our chapel closing words. Go well into life now. And when you need us, always know that here you will find the hands of friends. Carry the flame of peace and love and hope until we meet again. Be well.